for today's video, I was going to record how I pick my color schemes, and I had this whole thing planned out that I was going to show you where I get my ideas from and how I match the colors, but this one turned out so different from the inspiration photo that I figured it wasn't really worth showing you, but um, I do like the end result. It was not at all what I expected, but I like this tropical look, and I'm still trying to use up some of the colors that I don't use very often. Um, that's my goal this year is to use every color that I own at least once so I can use them. Then this one I chose to use um, Vermilion by Master's Touch and then I added a little bit of Soho Azo Red Deep because it was a little bit orange and I wanted it to be more red. So I really am not a red person but I kind of like the way that this turned out. It looks really tropical. This is a pretty challenging color palette because there's a lot of different colors that could easily make mud. So I'm going to share with you my top secret method for keeping um, like reds from turning pink. So if you put red next to gold, it will turn pink. And if you put red next to white, it will turn pink. So you'll see here that I add interference gold in between. And that kind of gives you um, a little bit of a buffer between the gold or the white and so it doesn't seem to turn pink when I do that and you'll see in the final result you you won't see a lot of pink or purple with it mixing with the blue and so that's what I do to keep them separated I mean it doesn't always work once you get to the bottom where the colors mix together but it works overall pretty well so let me know what you think of this little tropical Wandering straight pour, and if you like this color scheme, and for the pour here, for some reason, for a few seconds, the camera was not focused. I don't know why that happened. It's very weird, but don't worry. In a second, it will clear up, and then you'll be able to see. Um, you can kind of see the colors through the fuzz, but I really don't know why I did this. <laughs>
the dried results. Sorry, the camera is shaky for some reason. But you can see that there's very little um, pink mixed with the, the red. And you can see that there's a nice little definition between, say, the white and the red. And I think this little part here looks a little bit like Sonic the Hedgehog. Sorry, the camera, for some reason, is just very shaky on the dried result, and I can't seem to get it to stabilize very well, so I have to slow down in here. I thought it was dry, so I put my hand on top of it, and it wasn't 100% dry, so don't do that. But look at this nice definition. Um, I'm not into red, but I really like how this turned out, and I'm definitely going to try this again, because I really like this part. It looks like a parrot. So I want to try this color again with this particular section and see how it turns out. But I think it's got some really cool things in here. Mm -hmm. 